Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at in our little Houdini adventure is how to create a simple uh, neon sign generator. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos, and don't forget to check out my website, 3dslibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine Essence. So what we're going to look at is how to create um, basically a little neon sign generator that can pull in an image, trace the image, and then turn it into uh, a sort of uh, cube or... or yeah, a tube outline uh, for them to be used in, you know, uh, say a, a neon scene or something like that. Um, so let's have a look at this. So what we'll do is we'll right click in our network view and we will type geo and just give it a name. So neon to that. And then what we'll do is we'll right click trace. So what this is going to do is this is going to call in a file and um, then it's going to basically trace the outline. So by default, there's a circle. So what we'll do is we'll go to the image input, select the little icon, and I've got some things, uh, images I've downloaded here. So you can see here, we've got an outline and it's got a square. So what this does is this traces anything that's dark. So in, in, uh, a good example is, here is the original image that I just found on you, uh, Google. And um, you can see here that we've got our little outline here. So basically, it's ignoring the white. So this big chunk of gray is the white. And um, it's trying to uh, out, uh, do our outline here. So obviously, this is not uh, practical because so we want to clean this up. So I'll show you how to do that first. So that what we'll do is in our trace is we'll go to filters. We'll click tick remove border. So as you can see here, that's going to remove that. And then we're going to do whole faces. So you can see here it's removed that and it's kept the outline of this. So if we just turn on our points here, click this little point icon, you can see here these are all our points. Obviously that's like crazy um, amount of points for, for what it is, you know, a neon sign is generally seen from a distance. So what we'll do is we'll type on, uh, turn on resample shapes. So what this is going to allow us to do is as I drag this, this is going to decrease the amount of points um, on our sign. So there we go. You can increase this by, say, typing in 20. And, you know, this is a lot more manageable now, you know, but you might find that it's not quite giving you the detail when we when we put our tube around. It's not giving you quite the detail. So we can, we can just adjust this as we want. want. Um, so by de I'll just leave it at 10 for the minute. Um, smooth shapes, what this does is that you will, uh, will be using this as well. Um, you can see here it's changing some of the geometry around here. When you're putting your tubes on, um, when we sweep our tubes across this, you might get things where it's a little jaggedy in there. And sometimes uh, we need to switch on smooth shapes, which smooths that all out for us. But for the by D, for, we'll leave that off for the minute. So on the trace, we'll drag off and type, uh, hit tab and type sweep. And what we need to do is on the surface shape um we've got round tube square tube i'm going to use square tube because i think using round tube obviously if you're using it for something like um you know a film um you can use round tubes but square tubes obviously for, for say something like unreal or games are probably more efficient than um a round tube because obviously you're using less geometry um so obviously when we've selected square tube you'll get this complete mess here reason being is obviously that the tube uh our width of our tube is too big so what in the column section with sweep selected in the column section we'll knock that down to um we'll just try one for the minute and we want to set the width so type in 0 0.005 and just turn off our points here in this little icon so now we've got our tube here so as you can see here we've got our um go back to our trays here it's flat and with our sweep we've got our tube now um obviously we can adjust the size here if we want to but i think that's all right as it is um that you know does the job so now you can see here we've got some little jaggedies here coming out and is overlapping and whatnot so what we'll do is we'll go back to our trace and we'll turn on that smooth sweep there the smooth shape sorry and you can see here that it's smoothed it out we can also like as i say go to our resample here and we can decrease it you know if it's something massively in the distance that might be more than enough for you um or we can just you know increase the resolution um but obviously the more you increase the resolution um the more poly count it is i think by default we'll just leave that as it is so now what we're going to do is we want to look at perhaps giving us an option to make it thicker so we'll drag off of that and go transform and then we just want to find our scaling which i believe i never get this right it's not that one we want uh, that one nope yeah, so we'll we'll add our, we can adjust our scaling here so we can make it thicker if we want to. Um, 
you know, so some signs, uh, neon signs, you know, they have a bit of a depth to them. Um, and whatnot so but for for our purposes it's there the options are there if we need it so we'll just set that back to one and now i believe what we probably need to look at doing is unwrapping these quickly i mean for me personally if i was to use this um i would probably unwrap them manually just because it's more efficient um you know you, you want to, when unwrapping, say, for uh, Unreal Engine, you want to avoid using tons of uh, UVs cut up and etc. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to show how to uh, uh, unwrap in here. So we'll drag off of the transform here and we will type um, UV uh, flatten because there's nothing special about this. And then if we just click in the viewport and hit five on the keyboard, that's going to take us to our UV view. Now, if we select the UV flatten, you can see here that it's basically got our UVs, flattened them out. And to be honest, that would probably do the job um, for what we need. Um, you can obviously uh, adjust settings here, what type, you know, angle base, things like that, um, all this settings. If you want more control over this, you can. Um, drag off here, go in auto and labs auto UV and this will allow you to, as you can see here it's a bit more messy but you've got the more options up here so you can go uh, shortest path and um, that's going to calculate how UV, as you see here it's, it's flattened them out a lot more. Um, there's other options as well as well if we drag off of this and type in uv um we've got uv unwrap here and that does obviously some something different you've got more options here to select depending on what you want to do um what type of layout do you want um scaling all of that you've got a little bit more control over this but for this just for this purpose we're just going to use this because there's you know with a neon light generally you'll be using an emissive color to project that so you're not relying on a texture to be perfect over this and then um, drag off this and go uv um i believe it's layout just so we get it uh, nicely laid out as you can see it hasn't really done much difference but uh you know it's good good to know these things so then click in the viewport again and press one and that takes us back to our view um now what we're going to do is drag off of this and we're going to add a material just a quick material um obviously i'm not rendering this this um but obviously I add a material to this because if you were to export it out, obviously you can't export out in the apprentice version, but if you were to export out in the uh, large version, uh, the proper version, sorry, the large version, the proper version, which is either indie effects, um, etc., um, you need you need to apply material so that when you drag it say into Unreal Engine, you've got um, the option to add the material to it. So you can give it a name here. So we could name M E Miss. Let's see if I think that's how you spell it. You know, you can change your color here, so we can make it red. Um, obviously, you've got normal maps, things like that. None of this you really want to touch um, because, as I say, you'd be doing that in your um, uh, your actual program itself. So, as I say, just up here, I drop down this Labs PBR and change the color here. Um, this has got an emissive option. I've never used it before. So I, I don't generally do rendering and stuff inside here, but um, you can see here it's changing the emissiveness slightly. I imagine if you render that, it, you know, in, in Houdini, it would be um, uh, a lot better. Um, one thing to know with this is that um, when creating your images, uh, so like we'll use this, uh, this beer jug here, is that, you know, You've got to look at things and think, well, is that, you know, do I realistically need this? If you might not need these little uh, sort of lines here. So you go go to something like Photoshop and just get rid of them. So, you know, you you try and avoid unnecessary things because obviously it just adds, you know, you've got to realistically look, well, does it add to the neon sign? You know, do I really need it if it doesn't get rid of it? Photoshop it out because it just saves on geometry, saves on, um, you know, uh, hassle trying to clean it up but as you see here what we've done is we've created trace this is traced a picture so a great example is we'll add another picture in just to show you how how it works um try bowling and you can see here it's done a, a bowling outline here and um, it's created our geometry and um, what we can do is we can go into here and say well we want less geometry for this um, obviously it gets more aggressive but obviously at a distance you wouldn't you know notice this and um, we've sweeped it across so we can switch between tubes and um, I'm not sure what's happened there. I think that's probably is. Uh, oh yeah, it doesn't. Uh, doesn't the tubes thing doesn't like certain geometry within the uh, certain pictures within the tray. So we'll just stick to square tubes for the minute. And um, we've uh, uh, added the ability to, if we need to, make it thicker. Um, 
you can see there obviously i don't think we really really need that but the option is there and then we flattened out the uvs um for this when we click in the viewport price five we've got our uvs flattened out again this i would prefer to manually do this myself um you know uh because then i know that the the uvs are as i need them and you know it's, this is the kind of thing that you could potentially flatten these out and completely forget about the complete mess down the line um then we just laid them out and then we just added a material a very quick material so yeah hopefully this is um given a little bit of an understanding of the trace obviously the tracing can be used for the, the, the loads of different things i just thought a little neon sign thing would be cool um to do uh, in the next video i might look at seeing if we can just get this like a little board for this to sit on um so that you know it's um it actually looks like a sign because currently this is just floating out you know um so yeah hopefully this helps if it does please do like and subscribe